Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we're going to take two 12 by 12 pieces, some scrap chipboard, and we're going to make something awesome. Stay tuned. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for being here. You helped to make my channel successful. Y'all, can you believe I am coming up on five years on YouTube, five years of sharing amazing crafts with you, five years of getting to know some of you personally, five years of amazing interaction with you guys all because of this beautiful craft that we all love. And so today, I'm going to share another awesome craft with you. Very, very simple. With two pieces of 12 by 12 and some scrap chipboard, we're going to make this. I'm going to give you a closer look at it in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at what we're going to be making today. When finished, it is five and a quarter across. It is two and a half inches tall, and it is one and three quarters of an inch deep. I have decorated mine, both front and back, using some of those wonderful stickers that I shared with you that my daughter sent me from the Dollar Tree. Now, what is this? Well, every time I'm in the Dollar Tree, I always walk by the index cards because I really can't think of many things to use them for outside of writing notes, and that's great. These are great little note-taking index cards. So what I decided to do was to create a really nice little holder for the index cards and I created it using some beautiful paper and I made my own little file dividers for these. Now I think this makes a great recipe box. This is also great if you decorate it differently for a college kid. They're always taking notes even though we have all of the electronics. A lot of us learn best by writing it down because when I write something down it's in my memory. So I like to write a lot of things down and I'll bet a lot of you do too. So this is going to be a great way, a beautiful way, of creating a little holder for our notes. Isn't that absolutely the cutest front and back? So let's make it. So here is what we're going to need to make it. I have some index cards, and the number that you put in will depend solely on you, but the pack from the Dollar Tree has 250. These index cards are three by five in size. Then I have some scrap pieces of chipboard. And you can look at these and tell that they truly are scrap pieces of chipboard. And if you've spent any amount of time crafting with me, you probably have some scrap chipboard. So let's pull it out and use it on this project. You're going to need two pieces that are two and a quarter by one and a quarter. You'll need one piece that's one and a quarter by five and a quarter. You'll need one piece that's one and three quarters by five and a half. And you will need two pieces that are two and a half by five and a quarter. If you are interested in the weight or the thickness of this chipboard, please make sure that you're checking my Amazon storefront for the links to any of the products that I might be using in this video. If I do have a link, it's going to be in the Amazon storefront and you'll be able to go out and learn all you need to know about this chipboard. Then I have some stickers that I'm going to be using on this project. And I have two pieces of 12 by 12 and one piece is whole and then I've cut another piece. So from that second piece of 12 by 12, I cut four pieces that measure five by three and a half. So I have four pieces at five by three and a half, then I have the leftover, and then I have a full piece of 12 by 12. So we really are only using two pieces of 12 by 12 paper on this project. That is why I'm calling it a two sheet wonder. So I have already added double-sided tape to the backs of my chipboard and I'm going to take the two pieces that measure two and a half by five and a quarter and the one piece that measures one and a quarter by five and a quarter and we are going to place those down. So the way that I'm going to place these down, we're going to do the wraparound method. I'm going to place it down, one piece there We'll take that piece that measures one and a quarter by five and a quarter, and we'll place it down with about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Then we'll take that second piece of two and a half by five and a quarter, and we'll place it down with about an eighth of an inch 
and spacing. So then here at the corner, I'll angle and then I'll cut this way to remove this piece. And then here at this corner, I'm going to angle and then I'll cut across here and it looks like this. Then in this corner we angle. So basically what we're doing is we're getting our usual fold over tabs and we'll do the same thing here at the point. So we basically go to our points and that is how we're getting our fold over pieces. Then here, this is the piece that we're going to fold all the way over. So here at this point, I'm not going to angle in. I'm just going to cut straight to remove these pieces. Then I'm going to stand this up and train the four pieces to fold. And then I'm going to use my tape on these pieces. So I put tape here, here, and here. And we're just going to go ahead and fold that over. Just get that nice and stuck. And then we'll take this piece and fold it over. And now your piece is going to look like this. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it over like this. And I am just going to fold it here because this will tell me where I need to cut. So inside of that fold over mark, I am going to trim away about an eighth of an inch. So basically what I did was I came in about an eighth of an inch on this piece. So now when I fold it over, it's going to hit right here on the inside. And so now I can take my tape and I'm going to place my tape on my chipboard. Then I'm going to take my tape runner and I am just going to add tape along the edges. Now I can peel away my tape backers and we can take this piece and pull it over like that. So now we're going to get everything nice and stuck and then I'm just going to work my spine from both sides. And there's our holder. Now we need to make the sides. So now I'm going to bring in this scrap piece and I'll take my pieces that measure two and a quarter by one and a quarter and I'm going to place them down. And I placed it down on this side because I want the contrasting pattern on the other side. So I'm just going to take this one, place it right there, and then I'll trim and angle. Trim away that excess, and when I get to the end, I'll flare out just a little bit. And by flaring out, that just helps me when I fold over to make sure that I have complete coverage on the back side. So we'll do the same thing here, get to the end, and flare out. Same thing here, flare out. And so again, I'm going to use my tape runner and I am just going to add tape to this piece. You can use your double stick tape. You can even use glue, but I just decided to go with my tape runner, making sure that I have good tape coverage. I'll now fold this over like this. And we'll trim away the excess. And so there is side piece number one. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to use my tape runner 
Guys, use whatever you think is going to work for you. I'll take this piece and we'll fold it over. And I will trim away the excess. And so now we have these pieces. We will need our glue because what we're going to do is we're going to place glue on the three edges that don't have any paper coverage. We'll take these and put them in. We'll take these and put them in. And we'll be putting them in with glue, but if you have any questions about how far in you should go, take a few pieces of your index cards, place them in, and then place your side pieces in. And you can visualize how far in you need to go. So, I am going in about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides. That seems to work well for me. So I'm just adding glue to the three raw edges of the chipboard. This is a technique that you guys have seen me use since I've been on YouTube. So now I'll take this and I'm going to place it in about a sixteenth of an inch. Bring up that piece and bring up this piece. And then all I do y'all is I straighten it out by eyeballing it. And then once I have it the way that I think I want it, all I have to do at this point is squeeze the front and the back and press down to make sure that that glue is hitting on all three sides. And it won't take this too long to dry. But I am just going to take my big old spatula and go on that side and then I'll go on this side. And that'll really start to firm up and dry. So I'm just going to place it down like that while I add the glue to the second side piece. And you want to make sure that you are generous with your glue. I use Reptile Adhesive, so that's the only glue that I can speak on. If you have another glue that's been working for you, by all means, keep using whatever has worked for you. So now I'm just going to take this piece and I'll slide it in right there. And then I'll just push in on my sides and do the same thing over here that I did over there. And I know that I have a good fit because of how I eyeballed it, but if you want to make sure, just take your index cards and you should be able to put them in without any problem. So now we just squeeze and press down and we let this dry for a good 15 minutes. But like with all of my projects where I'm using wet glue, I normally will let this sit overnight, especially if it's a project that I'm making to sell. I will definitely let it sit and cure overnight. So we're going to let this dry and while it's drying we're going to go ahead and make our tab inserts. So what I'm going to do is on the three and a half inch side I am just going to score at half an inch on all four. This is going to be so easy. So half an inch on the three and a half inch side and then all I'll do is take my scissors and I'm going to make a little tab by cutting to that score mark and then I'll fold this piece down then I can take my glue place down a little bit of glue and get that nice and stuck then on my second piece I'm simply going to place it inside so that I can see where the first piece stops and I'm going to notch this way and I'll notch this way and y'all will see what I mean in just a minute 
So by holding it like this, I can now fold this piece down and this piece down, and I have my second tab. So I'll place my glue. And so there is divider number two. And so now I can take my third piece and that second piece that I just cut the tab out on and I'm going to place it like this and we'll cut on this side. So all I'm going to do is make one mark here. And now we can fold that over. And there is our third file folder. I think I'm going to stop at three, but if you want it to do the fourth one, you just do it just like we just did these. So on my others, I rounded my tabs just a little bit, and I think I'll do that here. You know, I'm sorry about all the glue on my hands, but that's what happens. So I'm just rounding a little bit. You can leave them in their original state. Or you can do as I'm doing here, which is a slight rounding. So now we have our three tabs and we're still going to let our box dry a little bit. So we're going to take the base that measures one and three quarters by five and a half. We're going to bring in this piece that was left over. And we're going to create the base. So again, I am going to do a little wrap around of my base by cutting at the corners like this. And then I'll cut here and we'll cut across like that. Then I'll go to this point, angle in and then we'll pretty much cut straight down and then we'll angle in a little bit at this point and now we can take this stand it up and train it to fold over so I'm just going to take my tape runner add my tape guys you can use glue or you can use double-sided tape it is completely up to you. So now we have our piece like this. Again, I'm going to take this piece, fold it over so I'll know where to cut. And I'll come back with my finger blade and I am going to cut about an eighth of an inch inside of that fold over mark. And I'll test it. I see that I can trim off a little bit more and there we have it. So now I'm going to take my tape runner and just add some tape. And fold over and get that nice and stuck. So now I'm going to take this piece and we're going to mount it to the base. So I will take my glue and I'm going to place glue along the bottom being very generous so now I'll take this and when I put it down I'm just going to put it down momentarily because I want to stand it up and I want to make sure or try to make sure that I have an even overhang on all four sides And when I think I do, I'll take my bone folder and I'll go inside and then I'll flip it over. And we want to make sure that we have good contact between the glue and the paper. And so y'all, there is our holder. We can take the index cards and place them on the inside. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I have not counted how many cards this will actually hold. But I can tell that it holds quite a few. So now I can take my little dividers and we can place those in 
wherever we want. And so y'all, there we have it. It is beautiful on its own, but let's do some very light decorating to this. And so to decorate, I am just going to use a few stickers. I don't even know which one I want to use yet, but I think this sticker that says, I love fall most of all, and I'm going to take it and we'll place it right there. And then I'm just going to cut out a border. I'm not even going to place it in my trimmer. And I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to take it this time and put it right there. But I think I want to put that sticker there. So I am. I'm going to put some glue there behind this. And then I think I'll add just a little touch of the cute by taking this owl and I'm just going to cut him out. I don't want him to be a sticker, and he is a sticker. So I am just going to trace around, and we're going to cut him out. So then I'm going to take some glue, put some glue right there. And we're going to place him right there. And so there, y'all, we have it. I think that that is so stinking cute. And it is such a great way to store index cards, note cards, or recipe cards. I am going to bring the first one back in so that you can see all of this goodness. Here is the back of this one. And here is the back of this one. So stinking cute. So I hope that you have enjoyed this awesome way that we can take inexpensive index cards and make them look like a million bucks. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.